So I got a question for you. When you guys are sitting in the cafeteria and your plate's in front of you, what does it take to get that food to you? Well, it takes a lot. It really does. Like, first it has to like actually either come from the animal or be like harvested or like actually like grown from the ground. And then it has to go through a whole process of like cleaning and just making sure it's good for like store store use. And then it gets it gets sold out into different type of companies and then the different type of companies buy them. The good food purchasing program is a program that essentially aligns public spending with public values. Um, so our school district uh, spends millions of dollars each year on food to serve students in the Buffalo Public Schools. And if we can um, help the district align that spending, that money, with um, values, the five values of the program, we can turn a lot of things around for our region. So the five values of the Good Food Purchasing Program uh, are uh, local economies, nutrition, environmental sustainability, a valued workforce, and uh, animal welfare. So like, I was in a Buffalo Public School for five years, and when I first started, I really didn't feel engaged with our food system or the district in general. Like as a middle schooler, I didn't know or have the resources to engage with any of the programs. But when I got into high school, when I joined MAP, I found things like the Farm to School Chef Challenge. I did the community health workers training during a summer. And I did work with Hype. And those experiences really impacted me really positively. With Hype, I was able to tour the food commissary and get a much better understanding of where our school lunches come from. They were wonderful in scope. Everybody who was there was engaged and I felt like they really cared about us. I don't think my experience with the Buffalo Public School food system would have been the same without Hype and, uh, without hype and the food commissary experience because I understood what it, what it took to get the meal like from a farmer to my plate. I would like to see more of that happen Schools, though. I would love to see every school have a representative and organizations like Hype. I would love to see every school have an opportunity to tour the food commissary and really get engaged with where their food comes from. I remember when I got to school lunch after going to Hype and saying, oh, I voted for this meal to get here. Uh, the kids would be like, well, how do I vote? How do I get involved? One of the key changes that we'd really like to see is the community more involved in um, what the district is serving. This community would be students and young people, could also be parents, and um, getting folks more engaged in what is served and what um, how the district is spending its money. Like, so. not, not all farmers have like grow the same way and if they all and if there's like this big giant purchaser in the area which is the Buffalo Public Schools we buy a ton of food if we put that power behind supporting the farms that do grow more ethically and do grow better for the environment it would create a tremendous impact. When you hear that term good food what do you think of? What's good food? Well when I think about food um, or good food or healthy food I think about kale salad Cow salad is really good. Also, when I think about good food, I feel like yeah, I think about food that's also like it's tasty, but it's good for you. What do you like in food? What, what do you look for? I look for the taste, not for the look. And um, I also look if it's healthy or not. Like they have good food that has bad smell, bad smells but good taste. And um, they have food that looks really good, good smell but really bad taste. That's what I really hate. Thank you.